Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jewel. I have a design team project to share with you today. And this one is for Artie Mays uh, for the month of October. And I am doing, uh, I'm using her cooking, um, her cooking kits. One is called Time to Cook, that's the ephemera cook uh, kits. And the other one is just a cooking journal kit. So, and I will link those below. And I've wanted to do one of these for a long time. This is a vintage theme, um, a vintage theme uh, jour uh, project and actually, or journal I should say, and it's actually a set. So I made this beautiful large journal and I'll show you that in a minute. And I also have some extra little goodies, including a, a cool writing board to put in here. And I made this uh, really sweet um, dust cover for it, and it's a drawstring bag out of this real beautiful uh, Magnolia Homes um, fabric. It's a nice, nice heavy fabric, and um, I'll show you this first. So the the, I, the reason why I made this is I, I I thought that this would be a wonderful not just to keep in your kitchen, but to store all your favorite kitchen memories with from families, uh, from family, you know, your grandma, your mom, your aunts, your uncles, anything that you did in the kitchen and your favorite recipes. There's a lot of recipe cards and room for that in here. And uh, once you're finished filling it, and everything then you can store it for generations to come and even more recipes and stuff in this this uh, bag so the back of the bag is plain and then um i i made it as a drawstring bag and i did some lace ties on it that coordinated with some of the um, lace in the book and um this fun kitchen ephemera on the front and this was from the graphics fairy um member site and then there's some layers of muslin and some more of that beautiful fabric and then some lace and then a, a sweet little cluster of um kitchen style charms and this book is so full of these charms i probably have 30 charms in this book if probably more with what's on the tassel um also here is the writing board that i made now this writing board right here is i made uh, from a cover of a my mother-in-law who's now she's deceased and this was in the early 1920s and it was good meals and how to prepare them and this is just the cover uh, the front cover and then on the back I um, for the writing side I put one of Artie Mays's um, beautiful digitals and these are full recipes right here and of uh, these vintage style recipes so that's a writing board that I will put in the drawstring bag and then uh, this um, recipe for butter almond crunch and then another recipe card these are things I could not really fit in the journal uh, I just had extras of. I have another little, I have a booklet. I have a couple of these in there. And this is um, from uh, the kit. Um, so I just, these were, so I just made a little booklet out of these. So this says summer menus, 1898, spring menus, 1898. And then off of Mrs. Mrs. Cog's site, she has these cute kitchen, her Etsy page, she has these cute kitchen um, uh, quotes and there's a bunch of those in here and they're really really fun quotes and I did put some in the book okay so let's start with or well I already did the bag so let me put the bag aside and I'm going to tell you the size of this journal it's a big one it's quite chunky it's eight inches long and it is six or, or five and three quarter inches wide and it has a three inch spine and um, I did do a removable tassel on it, and I'm going to remove this tassel now. There are five signatures, or four signatures, sorry. And uh, the cover of it, you can see I have some layers of lace, some muslin, and some more of that trim. And this metal um, book plate here, and it says uh, favorite memories. You can see off the edge here, I have all kinds of uh, gingham ribbon uh, tabs. 
and then some other uh, fabric tabs and charms galore all kitchen themed charms this is like a spatula that says love there's spoons there's pans there's knives and forks and plates and all of that so it's a real fun fun journal and everything can be removed if those all seem to you know get in your way so um it has a elastic uh enclosure here with a um hitch post now i wanted to show you real quick this um tassel now the tassel uh there's tons of layers of different rick rack and baker's twine and silk and satin and gingham again and um, all kinds of beautiful trims throughout and then a lot of different charms and they're kind of all hidden in there so but i do have this large uh, silver key right on the front so you can go down and you can see some more of those charms and this can stay on if you want to display this you know, you can keep it on or you can, you know, remove this tassel. Okay, let's get in. And I think I'm going to sit down because I'm standing right now. And I might have to use a clip. Now, the first, okay, in the front and the back pocket, I did a uh, fabric, fabric uh, pocket with some laces. And in this first pocket, I have... Um, a collaged card that a watercolor card that I made and so that's in there there's the back and this is actually a postcard watercolor postcard and I did do a recipe on making that uh, this is from Artie Mays's site and what I did is I made a little pocket out of this little Lee and Perrin sauce um, that she had and then this this ephemera here is from her as well so uh, all of the ephemera in here pretty much except for a couple things is from her kits and all of the graphics or all of the digitals in here are from her kits pretty much the well i have some vintage uh you know cooking pages and things like that but the digitals now this says now this first um signature here is a series of envelopes and bags okay and this the purpose and they're all full and the purpose for this is uh for storing the recipes and you can see here i have a tab oh i feel like this is so big i might be a little close and in each of these i have put uh either uh, recipe cards or um, this one is for peanut butter chip triangles and or uh, res uh, or recipe cards or you know with the recipes or some that are empty this is one of her envelopes and um, I probably have something in it but uh, I probably a but I'm not going to untie it all but I used Baker's twine in keeping with the kitchen theme and so this is from the kit and I have that tucked in this pocket. Okay, so this pocket has some lace and some muslin on it. And then uh, one of these vintage style bags. And these recipe cards came from the Graphics Fairy membership site. So those are in there. And then another one, I made window pockets in these envelopes and this is all her, um, her digitals here. So, in here, this is uh, a journaling card from, and I have Curry Favor, that came from the Miss, Mrs. Cog site. And I did do a lot of these little tabs and everything's sewn and I just spent quite a bit of time through the last week or two uh, working on this journal to do a lot of, I did a lot of little embellishments in it. Um, here we have uh, a vintage style postcard, okay. And that's an old stove tucked in that pocket. In this bag, I have some more recipe cards. In this bag, I have some more recipe cards. So for whoever is the recipient to add all of their favorite recipes. Uh, this says holiday favorites. Some of these I typed up on my, oh no, my frame. Some of these I typed up on um, my computer and then I printed them out and did some little fabric behind them. Okay, so this next envelope, I have another one of these 
yummy recipes. This is grandma's favorite sugar cakes. And on the back is the actual recipe. I just wanted to add some of the recipes that I had on my in, in, on my, you know, on my end. And then in this, I have another one of those vintage postcards. There's a lot of ephemera in here. In this bag, I have this, this, some of this is my own ephemera. This is from Artie Mays, I believe this one I had uh, for vanilla and lemon extracts. Another window pocket with one of her digitals. And then I added another yummy recipe. And again, like I said, and there's room for more in these bags. And the elastic, of course, uh, for the closure can get larger. Okay, this is one of her tags. I did a little bit of fun on it there. Okay. And I have a, um, a good, I did this out of a good, out of the Good Housekeeping's Book of Good Meals book. I made the a Patricia pocket. Um, not sure if she made this particular one, but the ideas of these multiple book page pockets um, came from her. So I just have a little um, thing there that says yummy. This was uh, in my stash. And then I have uh, these Pro, these fun things don't cry over spilt milk. These are more from Artie Mays, and you can just put these. There's a whole bunch of different sayings um, that you can put through the book. Um, this fun 1905 um, menu. You can write on the back of that. Up here is um, one of the pieces of ephemera from her kit. And then we even have another pocket up here. And in it, I put one of uh, her long envelopes and I stitched up the side and I have one of these fun clips. And I think I have something in here. Yes, I have, uh, Oh, I just have this, it was a printable from the Graphics Fairy, and I just made a fun uh, fold, fold out paper for that, for that back pocket. So there's a lot going on here, but it's a lot of storage room. Um, she had these fun file folders in her, um, in her, in the kit, and um, I just folded them up, and I made this little fun little file folder envelope thingy here. I guess that's what you call it. And I think I have, yeah, I got two more recipe cards in there. So that is in this large side pocket here. Oh, this is such a big book. I better get moving. Okay. So, uh, this says, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. <laughs> that cute some, um, lace. And then I used some of these fun, um, kitchen utensil, uh, from the Graphics Fairy as pockets. This one says flower. There's a little trim here. Whoops. A little trim here. And then um, up here you can see I have a stamp with a basket and bread and eggs. And in here, are, uh, this is one of her tags. I did a little rickrack and some gingham there. And then this is uh, one of her uh, pieces of ephemera from the kit. Okay, this is from a early 19, let me see, McCall's 1929 of my magazines. And um, I just, I didn't want to rip it. So it's, it's such a, this was such a big magazine. So this is a, um, a, rest, a I think it had a little recipe over here and then a for mayonnaise, an advertisement for mayonnaise on one side and the other side is cereal. Um, then I have three tags here that I just uh, added some muslin on. I don't know if you can see that, all three of them. This book is so big. Um, so this is ham. Uh, these, these three tags came from the Graphics Fairy site. And I've just got some grommets and some uh, that 
fun trim at the top. So then you can see the muslin. That's I love that coffee dyed paper there. Um, coffee stained and baked um, parchment there. Uh, and this is from that old cookbook. So this is a recipe for chowder. There's a lot of these in here. This is an advertisement from uh, the St. Nicholas magazine I, that I have several of them from the early 1900s and that's for oatmeal, I believe. Um, a, uh, one of her digitals and you can see she um, collaged together kind of all these um, old um, cooking uh, ephemera pieces and then you can see uh, this is how I did most of my tabs okay and a charm there okay uh, in this little bread bat bread container um, pocket I have this is from her kit here and then one of these tags and all back here you can see is one of her um, digitals and this as well and I made this into a pocket and I did some pretty trim whoops I'm not getting this all in I should have pulled back on this a little bit um, right here and then this is a booklet uh, just like the other one I'm not gonna untie it I just have it tied up with the Baker's twine and then let me put these two back because I'm gonna have so much ephemera sitting all over my desk and I'm not gonna know where it came from A lot of these um, pages from that old cookbook. Right here I wrote, I did a little salads and another tab. And then the other side of that, um, it says Post Brands, the old advertisement from that McCall's Magazine. Boiling over. Okay, in here, in this pocket, this is her digital here, and of course her digital on this side, and this is one of her pockets as well over here. Um, and then I added a piece of her ephemera right in there. And then another one of these um, file folders from her kit, and I just added a, a a recipe card in there and that's in this large pocket okay that's the second signature uh, and then I made a pocket out of a recipe card and one of her tickets with a little cheesecloth in behind and then um, this is her digital here I believe no that might no that one is not this one is from the graphics fairy site um, this is one of her tags and a recipe card, and I've got that in this pocket. One of her digitals here, I love this, fairy cakes. Um, says dessert, did a little muslin trim, and then another tab there, a lot of tabs. San, another uh, from the Kamal, Kamal, McCall's, and this is for a uh, recipe for baked ham dorado. So I put that in there, and again, this folds down so you can see the whole image. Another uh, one of the book pages, or the, uh, another one of her pockets, and I added a couple layers of trim there, and then this is from my stash, and this is one of hers. And I love this right here. That's from her kit. Uh, I have another pocket here on the side. I did not put anything in there, so there is room. Um, I did a little glossy accents on this um, juicer, old-fashioned juicer, and then um, I had a little trim here. It says a messy kitchen is a sign of happiness, and then made another one of those little um, fun, uh, oh, got threads everywhere, um, out of this uh, little 
what do you call it? a little pocket I should say and in here are some of my um, no this is from her um, are the uh, Mrs. Coggs man I'm having trouble with my words today jeez Okay, so I just have that tucked in there. And this is her ephemera, um, Artie Mazes. And then another Hawaiian pineapple something, I guess. It's another recipe. Jelly vegetable something, raspberry Bavarian cream, and that came from that McCall's magazine. Another one of her digitals. And I made a little pocket out of this. It says entree and then some uh, trim and then three of her little uh, banners, and I just uh, kind of just put them together with the brad, so you can kind of write little notes on the back. And I also did print with her digitals on the back of most of the tags and things, so. Oh, Lucy, I got a dog asking for dinner. I'm gonna have to, now, stop. This says cooking memories. Uh, another little stamp there. Oh, she sounds pitiful. She doesn't, she? This says simmer down. Pretty coffee stain. No, we're not doing that. Or that uh, magazine page. Plenty of room to write in here. I'm ignoring you, Lucy. Uh, another pocket. Another one of her uh, little pockets. And then I have a bunch of ephemera, all from her kit in here a little this oh this one i had but this is from hers um she has quite a bit of ephemera in that i'll, I'll leave that out let's put that there um baking paper and then um another one of my watercolor if i can get it out uh ta um postcards here a watercolor collage so I that I did do a video on making that making those another ticket from her kit got a soup um, pot here and I wrote soup and made a little pocket out of it and this says a watched pot never boils and then this is from um, my stash and then one of her beautiful digitals there it was a very fun kit. I really had fun doing this. I might do another uh, cooking journal. Um, I did the recipe card as a pocket again here. This is one of her tags. I had a little rick rack. And then this fun vintage uh, advertisement of a hot dog um, postcard. Here you can see her paper here, Lion Brand. Really fun. Just a fun, fun kit to work with. Okay, Lennox chocolates. I did a little banner there, it says snack. This says feast. Um, did a little trim here behind there and I typed up the word cookies. And then this again, these, I don't know if you can see that, these just flip. So I have three more of these tags and um, I secured them with some muslin, a muslin hinge, I should say. Um, from that old magazine. They got bowls of cereal, I guess, there utensils this is one of her digitals this is from my old magazine very old over a hundred years old well about a hundred years old yeah um this is this is my favorite page i think from the digital i just like these two recipes um this is a beautiful floral from the kit um, then here's the other, another one I like, the brown gravy recipe. This is from my, um, one of my vintage magazines, a really antique. Um, I had this tag in my stash and I thought it went well with all those desserts. And this is from her kit, this little piece of ephemera and I made a little pocket with one of the quotes. 
the cooking quotes. Isn't that fun? Oh my goodness, Lucy. I got very spoiled dogs. Cooking memories again, baked goods. Oh, Graham's recipes, so I put that there. And then this cute little fork and knife. And our last, nope, we got a few more pockets. Uh, I've got two more tags from her kit. I apologize for my ill-behaved dog over here. And then this is from her kit, and I made a pocket out of it. This is from her kit. This right here. And this, and I made uh, just a little booklet here out of this she had that little folder so i thought that was fun to make a little booklet and i put mom's recipes on it because this reminds me of a mom and then again in the very back pocket i have another one of her pretty envelopes and this one i put a little tab on it that says sauces and then tied it up again with baker's twine and a metal grommet okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this flip through i apologize for that dog of mine that seems to think she's starving every five minutes and all of this fun stuff is going to go in this beautiful bag and i will try to probably get this in my etsy shop this weekend today is well i'm probably not going to put this up till tomorrow saturday so hopefully it'll be in by the time you view the video all right thanks guys for watching have a blessed day Bye bye